Way to be how you doing? So, here we go. So, you want to be a paranormal investigation episode 18. Holy crap, or 18, isn't that pretty cool? Anyway, so today, a lot of people are asking what is the best way to help spirits that wish to move on or help spirits when they come to you for help and they have problems and stuff like that. Um, the best way that I have found that anyone can do, and um, you don't necessarily need training for this, uh, but you do need to believe what you're doing, obviously. You do need to mean what you say, okay? Um, that's the most important part. Um, also, you're going to need blessed water or or holy, holy water for this. And to figure out how to make blessed water, just go back... And there's a cinema there about making blessing water. Now, if you can't get to a creek or a stream, you can get, I, I forgot to mention this before, but if you get pure spring water uh, from the bottle, like if you can get it from a superstore or, you know, whatever, uh, where you can buy bottled water uh, because it's all going to be all nice and clear and that's going to be good water. So if, if worse comes to worse, you can always go get uh, spring bottled water, okay? Now, and then follow the instructions and, and do what you got to do. Uh, it's also good to have, I use a crystal bowl when I actually do it. I have a bowl that's crystal, you know, or you can have a glass bowl or, uh, I, I imagine you could probably have a, a like a silver tin bowl because that's a good conductor as well. Uh, so you could probably have that too. And then, um, once you do that, as you pour the water, you say different little blessings for the spirits. So if a spirit's um, stuck and can't travel, then and you give them a blessing to travel. If a spirit's, um, well, whatever it needs, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you mine right now. And then when I demonstrate it, I'm, I'm only going to do a few of them, okay? But I'll, I'll read you everything that I put down um, in my prayer book here. I got this little book, see? Uh, it's got my yellow on it. And it opens up like this. And on top of that, Blaine got it for me, so it's extra good luck. Okay, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Okay. okay, I call this spirit water. But it's pouring, uh, other other places call it pouring, I can't remember the big fancy word, but you're pouring spirit water, okay? And these are all the ones I put. Basically, you put all the blessings or all the things that you can think of, okay? You may use all of these if you agree with them. And you may add some, and you might take some away. And that's perfectly great, okay? It's what you feel should be said when you're as you're pouring okay it's what you feel okay but you want to keep each blessing straight and to the point so it's, i pour water for the good so i always pour for the good spirits i pour water for the good i pour water for respect of the spirits i pour water to cool you off and that could be both because of the heat or because of their anger right i pour water to cool you off i pour water to console you um, I pour water so you may journey from here. I pour water to heal you. I pour water to show you forgiveness. I pour water for peace to you. I pour water for peace between you and me. I pour water to show love. I pour water to give thanks. I pour water so you may be safe. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Bless you, bless you, bless you. And that's what I do. And I have found in the last 50 years, because uh, I've been doing it, that's, this is one of the, one of the first things I, I did, I learned. Um, and I found over, over the years of doing it, when you go into a person's house or you go even in your own house or, or anything else, it shows them such respect that they feel good. And all the horrible stuff what's been going on just instantly stops, right? And the place feels a lot better, okay? 
Later on, I will show you the blessing um, for peace prayer, along with when I use sage that I do sometimes. Um, of course, I use the blessing uh, peace prayer for lots of different things, but that just goes with the sage too. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's the words, and and that's what it's all about. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little cinema separate where you can see I'm gonna attach it to this one of actually how you do it right. And um, then feel free to use this, okay? But remember to make your water, okay? And make and while you're making your water, you must focus on what you're doing at that time, okay? And your belief and faith must be in the moment. So if you're making the holy water and all of a sudden or the blessed water and your mind wanders off to something else, stop. Start again after. You don't have to change the water, but just stop and wait till you can focus on the job at hand. Once the job at hand is done, the blessings will always be there, right? So you can store it and, and use it uh, whenever you need to. But as you prepare it, your full intention, your full faith must be in there, right? Then you use that water for all kinds of different things. House blessings, doing this, um, yeah, it, it's it's holy way. Use it for whatever. Crossing yourself when you get an attachment. The whole nine yards, okay? <coughs> so, uh... I'm going to show you how to do this, and then uh, if there's any questions about it or anything, like always, uh, at the end of the cinema, at the bottom there, leave a little question if it's about this subject, and we're going to, I'll answer it, you know, best I can. All right? So, until next time, well, wait, I'm not going to say that, because I'm going to come back after I show you how to do the actual uh, pour the water. All right? So, I'll see you in a minute. All right. So, of course, you're going to want to use... Uh, uh, the blessed water and you're gonna want to use a, a proper bowl but this is just for demonstration and I, I'm not gonna use blessed water just to demonstrate this so anyway so you take it up like this and you say I pour for the good spirits I pour for you to be healed I pour for you to be cooled both in temperature and anger I pour for you to be free I pour for you to be able to travel and so on and so forth. Okay, I'll be right back. That's how you pour water. Okay, uh, I called I called poured water blessing. Okay, there's there's uh, other names for for this type of ritual uh, from many many cultures, and it's um, thousands of years old. <laughs> okay, so this isn't something that I just made up or anything or that I did myself. This is actually been handed down in our generations, you know, from generation to generation. And as I said, it was one of the first things that I did um, to help with the spirit world. Um, so, you know, if you're in your own house and you want to pour blessings for your for the spirits in your house, by all means, you can do that. Uh, if a friend of yours is having trouble in their house, feel free to, to do that. Because nine times out of ten, that'll stop anything that's actually happening in there because it gives them a chance um, to leave. And it gives them a chance to heal. It gives them a chance to, to do whatever they have to do. So, by pouring by pouring blessing and meaning the words you're saying, and, you know, it just helps them to move on to the next stage of whatever they're doing. Or sometimes they just need to be at peace, or they just need to be recognized. And by doing this, you're doing all of that. All right? So, anyway, yeah. So, there you have it. That's how you pour water for spirits. All right? So now remember, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, watch out for ghosts, <laughs> and have a good day. Bye.